Within weeks, five would be dead and thousands of others exposed to one of the deadliest bacteria known to man. There are very few people who have the bench skills to make a product this good. Federal investigators discovered clues to the perpetrator's identity encoded in the bacterium itself. There are 89 different types of anthrax, but each one has its own kind of trail. This one led directly back to our own defense establishment. Was the U.S. government hiding a terrorist inside America's biodefense community? Some say yes, and that the official government investigation was a sham. The only people who know anything about the subject are also the suspects. They are protecting this individual. What we're dealing with here is an inside job with a real insider who has secrets that nobody wants to get out. It's going to be too humiliating, too embarrassing. All the spores were sent for immediate forensic testing. By the 10th of October, the analysis of the spores was complete. The results were horrifying. The bacterium that killed Robert Stevens and eventually infected seven of his colleagues was identified as the Ames strain, a strain long favored by and under the near total control of the U.S. Biodefense Program.